Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, recently I was covering this microservice uh, deployment with AWS CDK. Now on the next, so we already deployed the Lambda with the API Gateway and Dynamo. Now on the next, I wanted to try with this uh, real application. The real application I can check uh, one of the playlist of which I was covering is Airbnb clone. And I wanted to finish this playlist on a particular stage where you can pick up. So we already did uh, lots of things already, like the basic setup, uh, database design, uh, next next JS we are using with the next auth and auth zero for session management, and uh, we are writing uh, APIs in the next JS. So these are the couple of videos are already there. So if you are lost uh, about my current video which I'm going to publish, then you first check on these. All these steps we have already performed like next uh, JS app is already there and this is kind of quite uh, running I just need to populate the auth0 client id and uh, client id on the, on the UI so I should be able to do the login and I should be able to log in and do stuff like booking and all so th those pages I need to create so that is the piece of the pie which we are going to solve here this is the next JS apps SSR and we are using next auth next auth is the authentication library which is managing the session for our api route and the the, the, the protected pages it is using the next auth zero i mean there is a next auth auth um, package is there you just need to configure the client id and a session and you can manage when you do the login with auth zero the session will be managed and you can protect your api routes which are further going to talk to the proxy gateway or in the built-in nest yes because that is that will be the gateway so let's say i wanted to fetch the listing uh, airbnb booking listing in my area so i need to call a particular service to give me the result that that those kind of apis will be public but let's say if i wanted to fetch my own bookings then i need to know who is the current user session that session we need to propagate from next JS api routes and pass that token to the gateway that will forward the same thing to the target service we will know the user identity and we will return the data based on the user id because that is the logged in user like the bookings previous booking history and do the new booking all these have, will happen through the next js apis which we have here and how we are going to interface the next js here the pages will talk to next js api routes api routes will further communicate to our services okay this is the let's say these are the pages they will access the server side api routes those api routes internally will call the next js api endpoint to do all these operations okay so that's uh, the real picture which we are talking about this piece is already done we are able to get the bearer token once this is i think there and reach the token integrity with the proxy and microservice how that should happen once you get a token by doing authentication with auth0 that same token authorization token you need to forward to the services so that they can validate the user and return the data so that is the next piece of the puzzle which we are going to solve so let's start with the writing of first microservice authentication is already happening with the next auth we need to onboard the user let's say uh, in the, in the auth0 also you can configure okay sign in with the google all these social providers are there that's very easy to integrate for now let's say i already have a existing user and i can just do the login simply do the login and here sign in with auth0 when you click on to it then it will take you to the auth0 screen there you can also log in with the google log in with the facebook log in with the tutor twitter and that will enable you to access my application as a logged in user okay so once you enter your session will be initialized and then at server side you have your session token in the cookies so all these uh, uh, communication when with nextjs client and nextjs api routes are happening through the cookies and same cookies authorization cookies we are passing to the services so i mean there are uh, different ways to do this what i'm going to do is i'm go all, always going to be depend on nextjs api routes next is api routes first will check my session if my session is valid then only i should be able to talk to next js api gateway or let's say tomorrow if i want to access the next js api is also 
because what happens is if I call directly the gateway where I have a token already because to token does not expire tokens are stateless if you let's say if I copy the token from this session at the client side and try to use the token directly to hit the APIs then it will still allow you because token has not expired and here this in this logout we are not writing any custom logic to expire this session token so here there is some security stuff which we need to discuss how we can manage that but next is api routes will call the gateway to the respective service so the whole flow from next cs api next cs ui pages to the next js service you see this is next this is nest right next js these are two different uh, thing next yes we are using to write a server side apis next yes is we are using to write a server side ui uh, pages i mean this is also ssr whatever you are doing here this is purely called as a backend stuff okay this is all backend i can move it to yes this is also you can say ssr this is all these things are happening at the server Okay, so that is the my next thing and I need to do some coding and then we can start uh, adding things onto the next year service. Let's say we can build a simple search service, user authentication, authorization, authentication happening with the auth0. So maybe we don't need it, but similarly, like, let's say user APIs, where we can manage the user history, user bookings, user reference, user preference, all those things can go here. And then payments, orders, all those things can go here. So we are building a tiny services. They will have their own database tables and the data will be coming from this path. Okay, so let's get started again. And I'm planning to finish this. And then as we are doing this microservice series, I can also target to deploy these as a Lambda, these services and will deploy this next JS app on AWS as a Lambda because this is SSR stuff server side stuff not uh, some react app which you can deploy on s3 and cloud front and expose it through the cloud front this is ssr so we need to have a lambda which can trigger this uh, server side routes server side system okay let's get started